she twisty tonight, that's fun. Uh, uh, so I wasn't sure what was going to be campy enough to do at a drag show, so I just decided to do my two poems about fucking. <laughs> The first time you have sex in your parents' house, you wear hickeys like stigmata, because she's sure Jesus got laid too and you hate scarves, so you might as well be obnoxious about it. You've done it! Sex that is not qualified by the pain it brought you. Does that mean you are real now? You expected it to hurt. You didn't expect to be permanently altered by another stranger you feel drawn to. You were wrong on both counts. So, in an Airbnb in Guelph, you let them put ink under your skin in a way that stays. Wow. <laughs> Thanks, Rabbit. <laughs> Suppose this is a practice and trust without reason to. Call it a prayer, a premonition, a poem. No ink on blank skin. Your cards tell you to start over again. And again. And again. So let a stranger stab you in a way that builds you into more. Breathe with their breath. They don't let you bleed, but help keep you inside of you. This could be mindfulness. You could focus on anything but their hands. And the needle, marking an empty jar on your inner ankle, lid on. Wonder what kind of potential they have made you a vessel for. What kind of rituals of creation you allow strangers to make of you? There is a fine line between reckless and holy, and soon, Catholic guilt becomes foreplay. <laughs> Write language poetry to your god and touch yourself afterwards. Call it grace. What do you pray for? With your mouth open, your fingers wet, and a dike on your mind. Will he hear your prayer when moaned through their name? Incantation of your quickening breath. The deity of your desire bless this bed. Worship this. Wanting when they say they don't believe in God anymore. They still do whatever would make their father proud Like scripture onto the skin of their lovers imagines their spit or squirt as baptism worthy It might have been if they believed you better for it Serial monogamous goes to a different church every Sunday Showers thoroughly smells something close to holy forgets to brush their hair or wash our spit off their neck for once Their father never asks about the hickeys only the girlfriends only those imperfectly indoctrined by family dinners, incorrect pronouns, and prayers shared across dinner tables. They don't believe in God anymore. Which is to say they don't believe in themselves, as they sometimes believe themselves to be a god, build themselves a spire for other lovers' stuttering orgasm praise, say their truest name and enter, hold them until they leave for Sunday brunch, find something in them worth believing in, or cleanse on a rotting deck in East Vancouver. You compress the energy between your fingers. You don't know how this pain was made so perceptible, but you still touch it, grateful. This was the first time you learned to weaponize your trauma in a way that does not prioritize destruction, instead, resurrection. A hex is a protection spell if you do it right. Sit us on the porch with room temperature beer and ashed out pipes. Let complex ties to messy homelands give to rituals of cleansing. All energies come with cost, responsibility. Commitment is integral and always the challenge for queers who know running better than staying, better than presence, unbalanced survival tactics. A hex is a rebirthing spell if you do it right. Hey.